Hey YouTube, it's your girl Inspirational 717 Empress and I'm back again. So we're gonna get some messages from Spirit with the Star Seed Oracle. Alright, bless my cons and ask Spirit to protect my energy as I open myself up to channel the messages around the collective. Say thank you. So what challenges is the collective facing at this time, Spirit? From the Star Seed Oracle, what challenges is the collective facing? So we have spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time. So Spirit is saying it's quite challenging right now as you're going through awakening. So you're activi uh, activating your life body. So Spirit is saying at this time, it could be challenging because you're going through different phases of your life and brand new beginnings. So it's going to take you some time to maybe adjust to the transformation that you're going through, the differences as well with people, places, and things, because you could be losing friends or not as well. Not always hanging around people. You just want to spend time to yourself. That's because you're activating. Okay? Integration time. Yes. A spontaneous awakening. Awakening. I can get this out. So... It's taking some time to adjust to the changes and the shifts that you have going on. And it could be physically, emotionally, mentally, as well as spiritually, okay? Let's get one more spirit, please. Thank you. Okay, boundaries, let it go. It's natural as the curse. So spirit wants y'all to continue to release boundaries, as well as hanging with friends and family. Like, set respectable and proper boundaries from people, places, and things. So they can know that you have core values within yourself and morals and standards because people tend to run over you and not respect you for your boundaries when they just continue to do the things that you don't expect them to do. But that's what people would do anyway because they're not setting the proper boundaries, okay? And we have the void. Stop, embrace went to co the great cosmic womb. So Spirit wants y'all to focus on... When I see this card, it's like shadow work. So Spirit wants y'all to continue to do your shadow work. Shadow work. Because it's something that you're trying to avoid and not pay attention to. It's something you could be running from. So that's why it's a spontaneous awakening because you're activating. So it might not seem like the norm or something that you're used to doing because you're going through the void. Which is doing the shadow work. Releasing the boundaries. That people is not trying to understand. And setting boundaries, I meant. Excuse me. You're setting boundaries and releasing people. That don't respect your boundaries. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. And we have the void at the bottom of this deck. Confirmation. We have the void right here on the Star Sea Oracle. Stop, embrace, winter, great cosmic womb. The void. And this is you may be covering up the emptiness or pain within through an addiction. Yes, yeah, so spread one shot to continue to do your shadow work. Work on your shadow work. Whatever it is that you're trying to run from through an addiction, whether you're shopping all the time, being on the phone all the time, eating, um, it could be anything that you do to take your mind off the pain that you're going through. And that was definitely confirmation spirit. Thank you, because the boy was at the bottom of that deck. And they was guiding me to this deck, because I was like, you just pick it up. And then we have heavenly helpers at the bottom. So they can help you. and say your spiritual team is guiding you through this difficult situation. So as you're trying to go through this void, as well as releasing people, places, and things, and saying respectable, and healthy boundaries with these people as you go through this awakening. Spirit says they are here to help you. Excuse me. Because they're guiding you through this difficult time. Yep, you are currently healing past life wounds. As you bust, as I bust open the deck, Spirit is on time right now. Yep, look, and boundaries upside down though. And it's funny because it's upside down because Spirit is saying, continue to set healthy boundaries with these past life connections, people, places, and things. Everything is confirmation. Thank you, Spirit. Yep. 
connection and boundaries. I can just keep continuing to bust it over and spirit is going positive life changes. Positive life changes are ahead if you choose to trust in the process. I'm gonna take that out. Okay, we're gonna get one more from this text book. Let me just go ahead. What else do they need to know? Ooh. What else do they need to know, Spirit? Please and thank you. I'm not even gonna take that. I'm gonna be come on out. One call, please, Spirit. Please and thank you. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to just say this one. Connection. Number 29, you are very connected to the heavenly realm. And remind you, we just seeing heavenly helpers because they are guiding you through this difficult time right now. So you are connected and protected. Okay? Positive life changes. Positive life changes are ahead if you choose to trust in the process. I'm going to just move this right here. So we can get into this reading. Yep. So I said continue to set boundaries with these past life connections as well as continue to do the work because you are healing and you're making positive life changes towards these connections with people, places, and things by releasing them or setting the healthier boundaries for yourself and for them as well to understand because you are heavily protected and connected to the heavenly realms. So, I like that message spirit so far. So that's what spirit wanted y'all to know for the collective. Who do you want to collect it to know? First card we had was the five of swords, the two of cups, and justice. So you're getting your justice from dealing with someone that was in the past, far as a relationship, because we have fallen in love or the resurgence of a romantic relationship, forgiveness, and endless of challenges. So this person was very sneaky. Like you had to look over your shoulder with this person. And always like question yourself and second guess yourself with this person because the five of swords came out with the two of cups and the justice card so you're getting justice from this past life person because we did have past life connections when we bust over the neck as well as connections right here and positive life changes so you're moving away from this sneaky person that you was in a relationship with take what resonate or it could be also a job a business a career family so it could be anything. Take what resonates, okay? You're getting justice from these situations of dealing with these people and setting proper boundaries in order for you to move towards your purpose and your path to stay connected to the divine, okay? Because these people was a distraction. They wasn't respecting your boundaries as much because you always had to watch out and look over your shoulder at these people. And you see how this person is stealing? So... It could be, take what resonates, a person around you that was stealing your money as well. What I'm getting from this. They could like the gamble too that's on this picture. And they was just around to feel like it was going to be a romantic partnership or friendship all because of materialistic games. Or just to use you with this five of swords. And they was very sneaky while doing so. Because they probably would lie about why they really was around you or wanted to be with you. Okay, take what resonates. This is for the collective. Oh, let's get Okay. 
Now that you're awakened, you're setting the proper boundaries. With the awakening card and the four of pentacles. And the four of pentacles is managing your resources wisely. Smart business decisions. Seeing things as black and white being charitable. Okay? So you're taking the time to basically set boundaries and keep everything to yourself now that you have awakened to these people, places, and things that was just around you. To use, take from you, or could even lie on you. And your spiritual team is making and setting healthy boundaries from these people by making positive life changes, not only within your life, they're helping you and you got to help yourself because in order to get the help, you have to want to do it as well. And this is your justice to move away from these people, places, and things. So take what resonates because you could have been dealing with people that was just around you to hurt you emotionally, steal from you physically. Um, could have used, confused, and hurt you spiritually as well. Because all it was around for was for their game. And now that you're setting the proper boundaries with this four pinnacles and keeping everything to yourself, focusing on yourself, you see clearly now. Because you're awakening to these people that you have to set healthy boundaries with. Because we have the void. That's why Spirit said, oh, wrong card. That's why Spirit said, continue to set healthy boundaries, let go, release, as well as continue to do the shadow work. We, I seen the three swans at the bottom of the deck. Continue to heal as well. Spirit wants you guys to continue to heal with the three swans at the bottom of the deck. Personal growth that comes from challenges, healing, misunderstandings, being there for those in need. So as you continue to hit, you will not only be there for yourself, you will be there for others as well. Because they will see you healing and then sit there and say, okay, well, if this person can do this, maybe I can take the time out, focus on me, learn, grow, and do the positive changes I need in my life. So I can be successful and get to where I need to be. And cut out all this trickery and trying to use and abuse people just for my own good. And still, what do I get out of it? Nothing but having to deal with karma. Okay? So, Spirit is saying, continue to go on your awakening. Because you're learning lessons. Queen of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, because you couldn't see or be able to stand in your truth. Because there was a lot of manipulation going around you with the Eight of Swords. A lot of mental blockage. So you couldn't see necessarily where you was heading or where you was going. And now you're starting to take that action and take responsibility by releasing the blindfold. You see, she lifting it up. She releasing it. Because she can see clearly now by awakening. And it's all energy. Male, female. Take what resonates. And all these butterflies surrounding this queen of swords. You're standing in your truth. You're standing in your power. You're taking all your energy back from all these people that were just around you trying to use and abuse you. And they wasn't respecting your boundaries. So you had to say, hold on now. I'm just get the chopping shit out. That's what I'm going to do. Y'all want to be sneaky with the five of swords right along with the two of cups. Pretending like you want to be around me, give me that love, that respect to where it's mutual. But the whole time, you was just smiling in my face. Backstep. And now I can see, the collective is saying, now that y'all can see, you're not even like stunting it. You're like, okay, now I know what to do with this person. Now I know what to do with that person. I'm going to just cut you off. It's a done deal. Give me more spirit. So we had the Eight of Wands and the Hermit card. Yes, and you moving so fast into awakening and enlightenment. You done took the time to go in Hermit mode, self-reflect, and build and work and grow on yourself. So you won't keep having to do the shadow work. You're feeling that void. 
by releasing these people, setting healthy boundaries, learning from the lessons, continuing to move forward without a person coming around you, saying lies, cries, and goodbyes, and making you feel a certain type of way when it all boils down. It was never none of that that they were saying. There was facts. It was just all cap. What else? Yeah, because you're headed towards a renewal with this five of cups and the renewal that came out of here. So we have the justice, awakening, the hermit, and the renewal called out of here. So you done the work. It's spirit is ready for y'all to move forward and continue to move forward with this renewal card. Because you didn't learn your lessons from the connections of dealing with people. Or coming across these people that you thought or so-called felt like it was a connection. And making positive changes out of it. They say positive life changes are here if you choose to trust in the process. The more that you trust into the divine, your spiritual team and your ancestors and the most high God, you will make it and get through. I know at times we feel like, oh man, like you want to give up and you lose that little bit of faith. Or that little bit of hope. But you still push yourself and guide yourself to keep moving forward. Because I know at times we all feel like we want to give up. And that's the end of it. We don't want to do nothing no more. We just want to say, okay. If only I can just lay in my bed all day, don't do nothing. Or just not even want to just feel like you exist at times. But we have to keep pushing through it and get through it. That's our strength. By pushing forward and continuing to move forward. And don't give up. Because if we give up on ourselves, who else is going to... You believe in yourself. That's all you have. If you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will. So they're going to continue to try to come around with this five of swords energy. Keep trying to put you in the eight of swords energy. And that's some fucked up energy. Because you confused. Now you're mentally losing. Like over overall, because you got people that's playing trickery on you, trying to make you out to be crazy when you're not even freaking crazy. There's nothing wrong with you at all, not so ever. It's just them, but you can't blame them. You just got okay. I, I get it, I get it. Like Drake say, I get it, I get it. Respect to you. I'm gonna deal with you accordingly at this point. Take it how you want to take it. I'm going to deal with you accordingly. It's either you're going to respect it or you're going to get checked. Like, come on now. We're not doing that, baby. We got the Nine of Pentacles come out. You're standing in your power. Here you go. Waiting for your harvest. And you're doing it so beautifully, so gracefully. Look at her dress. Look at that crown on top of her head. She's beautifully standing there. Not even busting or breaking their sweat. It's all like, I'm that bitch, okay? Like, that's what she's standing there saying, I'm that bitch. And I'm going to continue to be that bitch. Because I'm going to continue to move forward. And I'm going to continue to do my shadow work, heal, and cut off these people. Okay? With the butterfly soul, I'm telling you. <laughs> the hell? I'm going to do it so... Great day. Have a great day, sir. Have a great day, ma'am. Like, you said what? Oh, I can't hear you. Respectfully. No disrespect. No, no, no. Okay, have a nice day. Mm-hmm. And it's not off no fake shit or no shade. I'm just saying. It's just sometimes you got to cut it short like that. Yeah, you can be friendly. You can be nice. You can kick the bubble, talk to people. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, da 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 da. So and so, and keep going. But I know why I was like, too much energy, sir, ma'am, cut off. Okay. <laughs> I just got all the way into this. This reading, because for real, people just be I don't know when to quit until you start turning up on a bitch, and now they sitting there looking at you like, hold on. Did she really just do me like that? Did he really just do me like that? Um, I believe so. Give me one spirit thing. <laughs> yes, then we got the four cups out here. Whew. It's four cups.
it's like the more people try to come around and distract you with this four cups because it's like you see how you trying to be focused but look at the angel in the back just look at the <coughs> how it was presented the angel in the back is trying to get his attention her attention take what resonates okay but because you're so focused that could be a distraction right there so you could be focused into doing what you know you need to do for yourself or whatever you got going on career-wise family-wise or whatever and then a person think because they hit your phone all day or they text you all day you're supposed to stop everything and and stop everything cracks in trouble no <laughs> I'm telling you, like, people think you're supposed to stop everything crazy and trouble. We're not doing that. No. Why are you trying to come around and be a distraction? You see me focusing, trying to do what I need to do. And you trying to distract me. <laughs> That's what Spirit say. Weight of the world, boundaries, let it go. It's not yours to carry. Like, continue to release these distractions and people that don't respect your boundaries. That's going to keep... Thinking they gonna come around, use and abuse you, take from you, smile in your face, whole time won't take your place. Now you gotta put your shit on God, cause you awakening to all these people, places, and things around you. Cause now you see the real them and what their motives are. Now it's like you question everything moving. <laughs> I see lovers at the bottom of the deck, so it could be with a lot. I'm just saying. But I'm just saying, yeah, because the seven is full. These people just want to keep being sneaky and one line to you, about you, on you. But if some shit go down, they wouldn't even be there to lie for you. Like, <laughs> first thing they do is uh, quickness. It just be like to the point where when you ask these people something, Oh, you want them to be there for you. They not there. They make up a whole bunch of lies just to get the fuck on. But let these people need something. Or oh, they need to buy something. They need this or they need that. You right there. Like you really right there. Standing your ground and all that. Doing what you need to do. And these people just like, say what? I'm gone. Because <laughs> that is this shit. Yeah. Because you fighting for yours. You standing your ground. You're not taking no nonsense with this 801. You definitely is a warrior fighting through these people and setting the proper boundaries around these people. Because if you don't set the proper boundaries, they're going to keep continuing to think that they can use you. And going to continue to think that they can come around and finesse and be one up on you. No. Mm -mm. When they say, I don't know why I just got this set. They was like, take that shit to the back of the bus, homie. Or shorty. <laughs> Whatever. Like, uh -uh. We're going to continue to stand our ground and fight. The hell? They say ask your angels for help. Protect what you, what you created. Be prepared. Never give up. Yeah. Fight for what's yours. Okay? With this nine of wands. And we got a lot of fire energy out here with these wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the swords out here. Mm mm mm. Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra out here with the justice. Like, come on, baby, come on, baby. And then we got the sun and release at the bottom of the deck. For the sand. Release so you can be happy. Continue to keep releasing and letting go that shit. Let it go. Just say poop like poof be gone or whatever. 
Because yeah. happiness and success and joy is around the corner. It's right there. And you going there so proudly on your horse. You're like, I already know through all this, this darkness right here, I'm getting to my own happiness. And I'm going to be lit doing it. Because I got the knowledge and I got the passion for it. You see, he holding that script. That's all the resources you need, the inner knowledge that you have within yourself. That the most high is blessing y'all with. And the passion to do it. The fire to split that shit. I said split. Ooh, to spit that shit out and keep going. Like, what? You playing. And you got all the time in the world. Look at that. It ain't running out. It's magical, baby. You got all the time in the world. And you mean to tell me you don't want to get to this sun? These people be playing. They better get into this healing. Like, for real. Get into that self-love. Focusing on you. Take your time to be dedicated into yourself. Not nobody else dealing with these comic relationships and all this nonsense everybody else got going on. No, I want to be happy overall, in and out. You want to see the glow. It's going to show. It's not going to miss a beat. Don't need no makeup, okay? And that's how you let the be built. I'm just saying. Like, you playing time is not going to run out at all. You got all the amplified time in the world. Spirit is saying, what? Because you going back to be that loving, caring, happy inner child that you always was. Look at that child in the back, on the horse. Like, come on, man. It don't get no better than that. Okay? Don't get no better than this. Don't get no better than this. Like, seriously. That's why spirit is like, yeah. Hey, be that warrior. Fight through all this. All these people that's trying to sit up here and run game on you. Like, literally, sit up here and run game on you, bro. Or sis, take what resonates. And try to fake like they want to be with you. Oh, me and you, we bro, we sis. We best friends. Oh, we going to have a good time together. I love you. I care for you. And all this nonsense. Spirit is like, hold on, stop the cat. Because we already see right through. You feel me? That's why they're awakening. <laughs> you feel me? Not to be sitting up here like that, but yeah. Continue to release, collective. Because you are on the right track. Okay? You see all the butterflies? And it's all energy. It could be for... Males or females, divine feminists, divine masculines. Like, come on now. Y'all done did the work. These people just trying to bring you back to that dark side, that shadow side of you know. Continue to shine your light. Okay? Look, you shining. You are the sun. You are happiness. Because you already was happy within you, so it's going to show without. As well as you already getting to the money. Spirit the same. With this nine of pentacles energy. Single, doing it by your mother freaking self. And these people just probably hate hey, because you can do it by yourself. Or you are standing alone by yourself. And they trying to figure out, dang, how she do it? So they trying to put you in all these illusions. Trying to get you in mental conflict with yourself. Like what? Like what? So you can keep on running from your true self. With all them damn swords. Running. Like, don't nobody got time for that. Mm -mm. Don't nobody got time for that. I want you to continue to look back and look back instead of what's in front of you. Spirit, like, hello. What's in front of you is a whole renewal. Take this path. Follow me. Come this way. Come this way. Come this way, my child. Come this way. That's what that's what your spirit got saying. Come this way. We gonna lead the way. Come this way. Follow the wave. You see? Follow the wave, okay? Come this way, my child. Leave all of this behind. As well as this miserable ass shit with the four cups. Because you can fight to it and fight through it and do it and get to the sun. Because we know that you can because we built you to be strong enough. 
Take what resonates. Because I know this is feeling and hitting somebody right now. Because I'm feeling it. Okay? And this message is for the collective. But sometimes when I do my messages for the collective, it resonates with me too. It's like spirit is talking to me too. Okay? Continue to shine. And see positivity. See positive. Ooh, let me slow down now. And see the positivity in everything. Because you can do it. You got it. Yeah, and then we got the seven of wands. Stand up for yourself at the bottom of the deck. Challenge those in powers, but choose your battles wisely. Yes, and you already know that you can fight them battles. You are a warrior, standing strong and proud. And look, a beautiful dawn. I like that hairstyle, but them curls is on the one. They hitting. Okay? Them curls is looking marvelous. As well as that cute little jacket she got on, okay? And her nice little boots. Do it. Yes. And she standing looking. She looking confident as ever too. Stand up for yourself. Got her nice little pumas on. Or whatever she want to call it. Okay. Nice little work outfit. Oh, party. I see you. Yes. The spirit is saying. Continue to go through these positive light changes with the sun while you release awaken and get your justice from these people places and things because you done the work with the hermit car okay that's why I say shine your light as an example to others <laughs> self discovery because you spent time to yourself in peace by releasing these trauma bonding people that just want to hold on to you and latch on to you like a leech and have you all up in your head depressed, miserable, sad, upset, angry, frustrated, want to beat a bitch up every day. Like, no. Spirit said, uh-uh. Something got to get. Something has to change. Okay? So we're going to get a higher self card, but Spirit wants you to know. Or what your higher self wants you to know. Okay? What they high self needs to know, spirit. Ooh, these calls stuck. What they high self needs to know. What the collective high self needs to know. I begin some new calls tomorrow. Two career transition. So you could be transitioning to a new career. Your soul is yearning for a career aligned with passion and purpose. Yeah, spirit said whatever career that you have in your mind or what you want to do, do it. Because you didn't already fought the hardest battle with the eight of wands. Because you already at your happiness. And you gracefully doing it at that. Okay? You see how she in a dress? She like, bitch, what? She like, I wish somebody would. One more spirit. Please and thank you. One more spirit. One more spirit. Okay, my car is stuck. Stay off. Oh, I'm gonna give y'all one more card Because these big things, yes, sticky. And I've got to put these things down. Okay. One more high yourself calls for the please and thank you. I'm just taking one from the top. Okay. We have education. Education is an important part of your soul's development at this time. Yes, so if you need to go back and find like educational things for you to get through your shadow side or listen to people that's helping you heal as well on your journey as you awaken to your higher self and get that self love back to yourself. Yes, support team. Find a support system. You got your spiritual team and your ancestors with you. Talk out to them. Talk to the Most High God. They can help you. By giving you the downloads that you need on your journey. To continue to move forward and don't get sidetracked. And having to do the shadow work and the healing all over again. Because you're getting through the void. Because y'all are healing. Spirit is saying the collective is healing. And they want y'all to continue to heal, okay? 
Don't get sidetracked. If you feel like, get your support system. Find people you know you can trust them. And y'all sit there amongst each other, educate each other, help each other, guide each other. Because you are going, excuse me, towards positive life changes, the more that you continue to release these people, places, and things that don't respect your boundaries or respect anything that you got going on for yourself. Because you have to have moral standards and as well as integrity before you think you're about to be doing anything. Because if you don't respect yourself, ain't nobody else going to respect you. And you're going to wonder why people want to come around you and keep running the game on you. Like shit sweet and shit don't stink. Like stink on shit the whole time. They ain't doing nothing. Like what? Stop playing. I just had to real like it. Yeah, real quick. <laughs> like, I'm not going to hold you. It's like spirit just had me turn up real quick to let motherfuckers know. Like, I can be sweet, loving, caring. I'm all about love, peace, positivity. Hands down. Check out my my readings so far. But when it comes to being real on some real life shit, we need more people that's willing to help people in a positive way. Help impact the youth as well as the elder generation. The adults. That's just like us and people older. It's not too many people that want to do that. Because they want to continue to be living in lies. Oh, my nose is a spirit. Come through. Living in lies. Like, come on now. But I hope this message resonates with someone. Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as hit the bell notification button. Bye.